a very good evening uh, to you all uh, dear brothers in christ uh, we thank our uh, heavenly father and lord and savior jesus christ uh, for giving this wonderful opportunity uh, uh, to share his wonderful words of life with you so today uh, we are going to see uh, bible chronology that means we all know god's plan that our god has created mankind on this earth and uh, since the fall of man sin has entered into this world and we also know that uh, christ second coming is going to happen where all the dead people are going to be resurrected back and brought back to this earth so dear brethren so today we will see how many years have passed since the creation of man because uh, there are various uh, theories regarding the uh, you see dating of uh, creation of man you see uh, many people believe that uh, man was created uh, thousand thousand thousands of years before some people even believe it is uh, millions millions of years before there was the amoeba you see that began to grow began to grow, become a protozoa and from the protozoa it began to develop into a you see uh, a monkey a chimpanzee a gorilla then a ape uh, and slowly man began to develop stone age iron age now man has come to the computer age so those development has happened that's what so many people believe even you would have read in the you see newspapers millions millions trillions of years before so and so thing happened see all these things are determined based up based upon the excavations that are made and uh, the carbon dating that is done on the bones or the things that are you see found uh, you see uh, on this uh, you see articles which are found in the excavation you see dear then uh, but uh, how really can we you see uh, trust to these excavations uh, you see like for example if a brick is thrown uh, you see inside a, a quit sand you see if a brick is to thrown uh, vertically you see uh the brick might uh, not go so much uh, you see deep uh, you see but if a brick is thrown horizontally that uh, distance which travels inside uh, also may vary so just because uh, a brick uh, has got uh, various uh, dimensions and travels more when it is uh, thrown in a particular direction and when excavated uh, the, of course the carbon dating will be more upon the Uh, things which are more deeper uh, in the soil than things which are above in the soil so based upon this one how can we come to a conclusion that uh, you see carbon dating is exactly right so carbon dating is a thing that we you see use to assume you see certain things but not exactly determine certain things so this can't be trusted 100%ly so dear brethren you see uh, so how many years uh, has passed uh, you see since the creation of man if you see uh, the dating of uh, man survival it goes back uh, you see to 776 bc see from uh, or uh, you see from 776 bc only the dating actually happened see it all began uh, during the romans uh, period we all know very well that the romans were very civilized people and they used to organize everything in a systematic way and so since uh, 700 bc or the 700 uh, century you see the dating has uh, happened so before this one was there no dating if you see there was dating you see before uh, there was a egyptian civilization and babylon civilization but none of this chronology is uh, apt because it is broken you see even the chinese uh, civilization which uh, you see uh, tells about many chinese empires even those things uh, are uh, you see uh, not uh, interlinked uh, or uh, it is broken here and there and are uh, and uh, the vivid uh, pictures is not so exact that we can trust upon you see so when did the man began to uh, really and correctly date everything or uh, when can we trust the history you see so all these things are history so when uh, how much can we trust history if you see uh, 
we all know about the olympic games even today you see even uh, it is happening in uh, the whole world even uh, you see olympic games uh, so olympic games actually began in 776 bc since then you see every olympic game is being dated in a proper way so how much can we trust history if you say it is only till 776 bc that we can authentically trust the you see dating the chronology but beyond that one you see we can't trust any of the writings or the history you see but where do we find it you see if you see they will you find it only in the bible the bible is the only book that gives exactly you see the dating uh, even from the creation of adam that chronology is given only in the bible therefore this chronology, chronology study is called as bible chronology you see from adam till jesus first advent exactly each and every picture is given in the bible so why we are studying uh, this one we need to keep on thing in mind you see about ad and bc ad means what bc means what we need to understand many people think that bc means before christ ad means after death of christ okay if bc is before christ and ad is after death of christ where is the period from the birth of christ see till his death with the video fix it that period is not mentioned no therefore dear brethren actually ad is not after death of christ ad is a latin word that is called as anno domino which actually means in the year of the lord so in the year when our lord was present what all things happened that is the meaning of ad so bc means before christ so today we are going to study uh, from the creation of adam you see till ad 1 so we are not going to study at a time you see we are going to break it into eight different sectors you see eight divisions we are going to make and we are going to study so let us study the first division so everybody please keep your pen uh, a notebook or on calculator see whatever we are calculating and open the bible and uh, you see please go through it you see the first uh, uh, period is from the creation of adam till the flood we all know that flood came during the days of noah you see then since adam was created till the flood you see how many years happened you see we are going to see it see while considering this one we are not going to consider how many years adam lived and after his death what happened because bible doesn't give us clear picture what actually happened after adam's death and who was born and what all things were happened you see and moreover you see uh, that uh, is not uh, uh, clearly you see in a, a connecting way is not given in the bible but the bible gives at what age adam begat his sons you see at what age uh, you see the sons were born to adam so if you calculate from that period to that period the link uh, you see is uh, easily found so we are going to see from uh, adam till what age his sons were born now we all know you see the first uh, son of uh, uh, adam was cain and the second son was abel so what did uh, uh, cain do we all know very well that cain killed abel you see his brother abel and he ran away and settled in a different place so, so this period we won't be considering it because what happened uh, to cain you see where did he went and what all happened and how many years uh, he lived and then what happened how many sons were born and next after his uh, death what happened that uh, the genealogy is not at all given in the bible but uh, you see god chose one more son of adam his name is seth you see so seth was selected seth was born you see so from uh, that seth generation we are going to calculate uh, this bible chronology okay so to begin with let us read genesis 5 3 can uh, any of the one brother who can read all the verses it will be very kind uh, so that others can follow it genesis 5 3 who can read it but the immanuel or the peter 
Anybody? Emmanuel, Genesis, Genesis 5 3. Yeah. And Adam lived in 130 years and beget son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. Very good. And call his name as Seth. See, after that, one, what happened? Adam continued to live for 800 years, it seems. Now continue, brother. Continue with verse again. Continue. Till verse 4 and 5. Okay, 4 and 5. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth to 800 years, and he begot sons and daughters. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. See? So, all the years which Adam lived were 930 years in dead. And after his death, what happened? It's not given. So, instead of that one, when Seth was born, that period is given. And after that one, what happened in the life of Seth? That is given. Again, uh, you see, Seth uh, married uh, and uh, you see, he begat uh, many sons. Uh, you see? So, those so information is given. That is sufficient. Uh, because when Adam lived for the entire period of uh, 930 nine years, he begot so many children. So, we ke can't keep on calculating after one's death. Uh, that give, doesn't give us the you see, chain link. Uh, you see the particular character period. But rather, if we calculate, uh, you see, in a different way, that gives us the genealogy link. We can't calculate from the birth to death. Uh, you see, because that uh, information is not provided in the Bible. But whatever information is provided, we'll try to build a chain in that one. You see, first, uh, we, say, we read now only, that uh, Adam begat Seth at the age of 130 years. Okay, so let us, uh, so the first year that uh, has to be counted is 130 years. So please add 130 years in the calculator or uh, in your book. Okay, next, uh, you see, Seth, he also married and uh, a son by name Enos was born to him, it seems. Uh, at what age, you see, read Genesis uh, uh, 6, 6 for that. Genesis 8, 6, sorry. Genesis 8, chapter 6 verse. 6. And it came to pass at the end of the 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. Oh, Genesis 5, 6, please. Genesis 5, 6. Hmm. And Seth lived and 105 years and beget Enos. Ah, you see? Now here, yeah, this uh, is very connecting. See? When Seth was born and uh, after uh, his birth, you see, of uh, 105 years, you see, he gave birth to a son. You see, his name was Zeus. So here, uh, that link is continuing. So we will calculate like this only. Okay? So Enos was born at 105 years. Next, uh, Enos... Uh, you see, at what age uh, uh, did he have a son? Read Genesis 5th uh, chapter, verse uh, 9, brother. Huh. And Enos lived 90 years and beget Canaan. Very good. At the age of 90 years, he beget Canaan. Okay, Canaan, he beget Mahalil at 70 years. Genesis 5th chapter, 12th verse. Um. And Canaan lived 70 years and beget Mahalel. Ah, beget Mahalel. Now again, Mahalel, you see, he beget Jared at the age of 65 years. Genesis 5.15. And Mahalel lived 60 and 5 years and beget Jared. Very good. Now, Jared beget Enoch, you see, at the age of 162 years. Genesis 6 chapter 18th verse. Chapter 18 verse. But with thee will I establish my covenant and thou shalt come to the come into the ark thou uh, and thy sons. Genesis and thy 5, wife. 518 brother. Genesis 518 brother. Okay, 518. And Jared lived and 160 and two years and we got Enoch. Very good. You see, Enoch, we all know very well that Enoch walked with God, you see, and he died at the age of uh, 
You see, how many years? 365 years. Why 365? The subject for this one also, we'll see God willing. Now, Enoch begat uh, Methuselah at the age of 66 years. Genesis 5.21, brother. And Enoch lived 65 years and begat Methuselah. Very good. Now, Methuselah, you see, lived for uh, uh, many years and... Uh, at the age of 187 years, he begat Lamech. Read Genesis 5.25. And Methuselah lived in 187 years and begat Lamech. Very good. See, then again Lamech begat Noah at the age of 182 years. Hmm. Genesis 5th chapter 28 verse for that. And Lamech lived in 182 years and we get a song. Very good. See, now Noah. See, Noah, uh, it gives that at the age of 500 years, he begat sons. How many sons? Let us read that verse, Genesis 5, 20, Genesis 5, 32. Hmm. And Noah was 500 years old and Noah begat same Ham and Japheth. Uh, uh, at the five, age of 500 years, he begat same Ham and Japheth. How we can beget three sons at the same, uh, you see, year, in one year? It's not at all possible, you see, having one wife. So, here we will end, uh, you see, at the period when flood came. That information is given. Instead of taking at what age Noah, you see, sons were born, we will take directly at what age the flood came. That is given to us in Genesis 7 6, brother. Please. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of the waters was upon the earth. Ah, when the flood was upon the earth. So, this entire period gives us the time period from Adam till the flood. Now, how much is it if we calculate? Huh? Has anybody calculated? Anybody has noted down in the book how many years? 130 plus 105 plus uh, 90 plus 70 plus 65 plus uh, 162 plus 65 plus 187 plus 182 plus 600. How much? Anybody? Anybody has calculated? Okay, Emmanuel, brother, have you done? Not really. Okay, so if you calculate later on, so you can do it after the class is over, we will be sending the PDF notes to you. It will be very easy for you to calculate. So it's a period of uh, 1656 years. See, from the creation of Adam till the flood is uh, 1656 years. This is the first uh, period. Now let us go to the second period. You see, second sector. That is from the flood. You see, from the flood till, you see, uh, the covenant with Abraham. You see, now, before studying this period, we need to understand when did God make a covenant with Abraham? You see, when, uh, you know, when actually God called him when he was in uh, Ur of Chaldeans. You see, then uh, Abraham left his uh, hometown and he traveled. Uh, and uh, came to the promised land. But on the way, when he was coming, you see, what happened was that his father died. And as soon as his father died, he buried him and he traveled to the promised land. So, that was the time that when he entered into the promised land, that covenant between God and Abraham was established. So, let us read a few verses for uh, this one. Uh, Acts of the Apostles, 7 chapter, verses 2 to 5. Acts of the Apostles, 7 chapter, 2 to 5. Okay, Peter, brother, are you able to read? Can you read? Okay, uh, Emmanuel, brother, can you read? Acts 7, 2 and 3. Hmm. And he said, Men, Brethren and fathers, hearken, the God of glory appeared unto our father Abraham 
when he was in Mesopotamia, before he dwelt in Taran, and said unto him, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and come into the land which I shall sue thee. Very good. Continue verse 4 and 5 also, brother. Okay, 4 and 5. <laughs> then he came, then came he out of the land of the Chaldeans, hmm. Chaldeans and dwelt in Charan. And from thence, when his father was dead, he removed him into, into this land wherein he did not dwell. And he gave him none inheritance in it, no not so as to set his foot on. Yet the promise that he would give it to him for possessions and to his seed after him, when he yet went as it, he had no child. Ah, you see, God spoke to him when he was in, you see, Charan. See, but when he traveled, his father died. And as soon as his father died, he was moved to the promised land. So that was the time that God established a covenant with Abraham. So, no, okay. Now let us calculate uh, what is this period. It's the same way as we calculated in the first period. You see, uh, uh, Shem, Ham and Japheth were the sons of, uh, you see, Noah. Again, we'll calculate, uh, we won't calculate uh, at what age uh, Shem died and what all happened next. Because that information again is not, uh, you see, completely furnished and it's not uh, linked. But as we calculated at what age the sons were born and again, to what age their sons were born is clearly mentioned. So let us continue the same way. Read Genesis 11, chapter 10, verse, brother. Genesis 11, 10, brother. Huh? Genesis 11, 10. These are the generations of Sam. Sam was an hundred years old and begat Aphrax two years after the flood. Ah, see, we calculated till the flood. Now, from the flood, this spirit is given. So, there is no break at all. Till the flood, we calculate it. From the flood, again, it begins two years after the flood. So, let us take these two years. Now, again, you see, Harpaksada, we get a child, it seems. Huh? Read Genesis 11, 12. Brother. Huh? Genesis 11, 12. Genesis 11, 12. And and Arvaksad lived five and thirty years and beget Salah. Sorry. Five and I live. Uh, I said, Genesis 11 to this Correct, one. correct. I read again. And Arvaksad lived for lived five and thirty years and beget uh -huh. Salah. You see? So that was uh, the period. Then he beget Salah. Now, five and thirty means how many? 35 years. Okay. Now again, uh, Salah beget Eber at the age of 30 years. Read Genesis 11, 14, brother. And Salah lived 30 years and beget Eber. Very good. Again, Eber beget Peles at the age of 34 years. Genesis 11, 16. Lived four and 30 years and beget Peleg. Very good. You see, at 34 years beget Peleg. Now Peleg beget Ru at the age of 30 years, Genesis 11, 18. And Peleg lived 30 years and beget Ru. Very good. Now again uh, Ru beget Serug at the age of 32 years, Genesis 11, 20. Ru lived 2 and 30 years and beget Serug. Very good. Now Serug beget uh, Nahor at the age of 30 years, Genesis 11, 22. And Serug lived 30 years and beget Nahor. Very good. Now, uh, Nahor beget Terah was the father of actually Abraham at the age of 29 years. Genesis 11, 24. And Nahor lived 9 and 20 years and beget Terah. Very good. Now, here again, you see, instead of calculating what age Abraham was born, that is also given. But that is not relevant for us because we need to calculate... Uh, what age Terah died? Not that what age Abraham was born. You see, because that uh, information uh, is uh, not required for us. That is not important. We need to calculate a period when God made covenant with Abraham. When did God make covenant with Abraham? As Terah died. When Terah died, 
that was the same time that he buried his father and moved to the promised land. So as soon as he moved to the promised land, that covenant was established. Now, where is it given? You see, that is given in Genesis 11.32, brother. Read, brother. Genesis 11.32. And the days of Terah went were 205 years, and Very Terah good. died in Haran. Yes, Terah died in Haran. You see, so that is the time that Abraham traveled to the promised land, covenant was sealed. Now, if we calculate this period from the flood till the death of Terah, or till the covenant which God made with Abraham, it is a period of 427 years. You can calculate later also. Okay? Now, this is the second period. You see, now, let us move to the third period. The th third period is the covenant with Abraham, you see, uh, till the law. You see, now you tell me, which was the first law which God gave to Israel? Any idea, any guess, which is the first law that God gave to Israel? Any idea, brother? Peter, brother, Vishnu, brother, Emmanuel, brother, any guess? Hmm. Any idea? Which was the first law which God gave to Israel? Peter brother, Emmanuel brother, any idea? Any guess? Okay. See, God gave the first law to the people of Israel when they were in Egypt itself. You see? Now, that law was the law of the Passover, which they celebrated on the last day, which they lived in Egypt. We know about the ten plagues, and the ten plague was the law of the, you see, the plague of the, you see, death of the firstborn. So, that is the time that God gave the, you see, the law of the Passover to them. Let us read uh, Genesis, sorry, Exodus 12 chapter, Exodus 12 chapter, verse 24, brother. Huh? Exodus 12, 24. Exodus, Exodus 12, 24. And he shall observe these things for an ordinance to thee and to thy sons forever. Mm. You shall observe this as an ordinance, as a law forever and ever. That is the first law. Now, this is very easy. You see, from the covenant with Abraham, Till the Passover. That is the first law. That is the day that Israel left Egypt. We all know very well how they celebrated the Passover. They cut the lamb. They ate the flesh. In very haste. With all the dresses ready. Immediately in the midnight Pharaoh calls. And they cast everybody out of Egypt. So the day they ate the Passover. That is the day that they were cast out of Egypt. They began to travel to the promised land. Okay. Now where is it given? This is simply given in one verse. You see, in the New Testament, where Apostle Paul gives us a clear information. Genesis 3.17, brother. You see, let us read. Genesis 3.17, brother. Huh? Genesis or Galatians? Galatians. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Galatians 3.17. Sorry, brother. Sorry. In this I say that the covenant that was confirmed before, the, before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, cannot disannul that it should make the promise of non-effect. Aha. Uh -huh. You see? What is it? Huh? You see, the covenant that was confirmed. You see? Huh? By God in Christ. And the law which came 430, you see, years after, you see, cannot make the promise of no use. It seems. That means, it shows the time gap between, you see, Huh? What? Uh, between the law and between the promise which may God made to Abraham. It clearly says it was a period of 430 years. So, when God made a covenant with Abraham, after that 430 years only, God gave the law to the people of Israel. So, this period is a period of 430 years. Now, let us come to the other period, the fourth period. You see, from the Exodus Till the promised land. You see, till the ending of the promised land. We all know very well, as soon as people of Israel left Egypt, what happened? You see, what happened? Huh? 
they crossed the red sea they came to mount sinai they took the law from god and from there they traveled but they could not enter the promised land immediately because they began to murmur so 40 years uh, they were in the wilderness so after 40 years they came back again to the promised land they defeated all the enemies and entered the promised land this period was actually 46 years now how 46 years we're going to see you see see they did not go directly to the promised land first they took the law okay now how many years uh, did they take to travel from egypt till mount sinai let us read you see genesis uh, sorry numbers 10 chapter 11 and 12 that is given to us in uh, numbers 10 chapter 11 and 12 and it came to pass on the 20th day of the second month, in the second year, that the cloud was taken up from of the tabernacle of the testimony, and the children of Israel took after their journey, took their journey out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran. Mm, cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran. When, you see, huh? that uh, the people of Israel took their journey from uh, Mount Sinai, it seems. Okay, now what, what does it say? It gives us a period. Uh, you see? Uh, uh, it says, uh, you see? See, second year, second month, 20th day. Now, when did the people of Israel leave Egypt? We all know very well. That was the beginning of the month. You see? And the beginning of the year for them, on the 15th day, First month, 15th day, they departed uh, from Egypt. We all know very well. Anyway, you can note down this verse also. Numbers 33, 3. Don't want to read it. You see, that was the Nisan, month of Nisan, Abib month, Nisan 14th, and Nisan 15th, they left Egypt. So, by the time they came to Mount Sinai, it was uh, two years, uh, two months, uh, 20 days. So, if you deduct, uh, how much will you get? Uh, one year. One month, five days. So the period the people of uh, Israel took to travel from uh, Egypt to, to Mount Sinai was actually one year, one month and five days. So this is we calculate as one year. So next, uh, as they reached the border of uh, Canaan, they sent the spies to see the promised land. You see, but uh, many people brought the evil report you see, hence the people began to murmur and God punished the people of Israel for 40 years. They all wandered in the wilderness and who all came out of Egypt, they all died in the wilderness. That was a period of how many years? 40 years. Let us read, you see, Numbers 3rd chapter, verse 13. Numbers 3, 13. Brother. Oh, let us read only one verse, Numbers 3, 13. Emmanuel, brother, you are there? Numbers 330. Hmm. <laughs> because all the firstborn are mine. For on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the Lord of land of Egypt, uh, numbers, I hallowed. Uh, brothers, number third chapter. Oh, sorry. 32nd yeah, yeah. chapter. 32nd chapter, 13th verse. Sorry. Numbers 32, 13. And the Lord's anger was kindled. Against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was consumed. Okay. Forty years uh, they were made to wander in uh, very seems uh, in the wilderness. They all died. It seems. So after forty years again, what happened? Under the leadership of Joshua, they came to the promised land, but this time they did not murmur or commit the same mistake. This time they entered in the promised land, beginning from Jericho. They destroyed all the enemies, uh, Canaanites, uh, you see, Pergazites, uh, Ithites, uh, all the enemies were destroyed. And this took a period of five years. Now, where is it given? Num, it is given to us in uh, Joshua 14 chapter, verses 6 to 10. Let us read only a few verses. Joshua 14 chapter, verse 6 and 7 and 10. Verse. Uh, email brother, can you read? 14 chapter. 6, 7, and 10. It just was 14, 6. Then the children of Judah came out, came on, uh, unto Joshua in Gilgal, and the Caleb, the son of the 
Zephaniah, and the Kenizzite said unto him, Thou knowest the thing that the Lord said unto Moses, the man of God, concerning me and thee in Kadis Barney. Verse 7, 40 years old was when uh, 40 years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadis Barney to spy out the land, and brought I brought him word again as it was in mine hut. Verse 10. And now before the Lord had kept me alive, and he said, Forty and five years since even since even since the Lord spake his this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now lo, I am this day for source and five years old. Ah, uh, see, here you see, Caleb comes and tells what actually happened in the wilderness when. You see, the first time they went to spy the land, Caleb tells that my age was 40 years then. But after destroying all the enemies, you see, and uh, distributing the land to the people of Israel, Caleb tells, now my age is 85 years old. That means what? Uh, that means uh, since the first time they spied the promised land and since the second time they entered the promised land, it was a period of 45 years. In that 45 years, what did they do? 40 years, they spent in the wilderness. Everybody died. So, balance is 5 years. So, in those 5 years, they captured the promised land. So, this period they ran from the law to the entering of the promised land. It is actually 1 plus 40 years plus 5 years. So, how much it began? You see, 46 years. Okay. So, this is the one more division. Fourth division, 46 years. Now, fifth division, that's also very easy. We all know once when the people of Israel came to the promised land, judges were given, you see. So, God spoke to them through judges. Now, how many years did judges rule? That is given to us in Acts 13.20. Read with it, Acts 13.20. And after that, he gave unto them judges about the space of 450 years until Samuel the prophet. Uh -huh. He gave them judges for a period of 450 years. So clearly given 450 years for the period of judges. So after this one, what happened? You see, when Samuel was there, people came and fought with him and told, no, we don't want judges, we want kings. Then God gave them kings. You see, that is the sixth period. We all know the first king was Saul, ruled for 40 years. Second king was David, he also ruled for 40 years. Then third king was Solomon, he also ruled for 40 years. Each and every of these kings ruled for 40 years. Then only rest of the kings uh, ruled. Now let us read how many years uh, this uh, Saul ruled. Acts 13, 21, brother. Acts 13, chapter 2, verse 21. Ah, uh, Emmanuel brother. Acts thirteen twenty one, hmm. and afterward they desired a king, and God gave Saul the son of Sis, hmm. and man of the tribe of Benjamin, by the space for, by the space of forty years. Forty years, you see, forty years he ruled. Next, what happened? David came. We all know very well. So David ruled for forty years. Second Chronicles twenty nine twenty seven brother. Second Chronicle 29-27. Hmm. Sorry, First Chronicles. First Chronicles 29-27. First Chronicles 29-27. Hmm. And the time that he reigned over Israel was four years, seven years reigned in the Hebron, and thirty years, thirty and three years reigned in the reign he in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. So thirty-seven plus uh, thirty-three plus seven. How many years? 40 years. 40 years David ruled. Then Solomon ruled. Solomon ruled for 40 years. Second Chronicles 9 chapter verse 30. Huh? Second Chronicles 9 chapter verse 30. And Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel for Israel 40 years. Mm -hmm. 40 years. Next, uh, you see, what happened? Uh, 
Israel was divided into two parts. Ten tribes, one part. And two tribes, one part. Israel and Judah. So among this tribe, which was the tribe that was selected by God, if you see, God selected the tribe of Judah. Because Jesus was supposed to come from the tribe of Judah. First Kings 11, chapter 11 to 13. Don't want to read it. God promised to Solomon saying, you see, your throne, you see, shall be forever because I made a covenant with David. You see, somebody will keep on sitting on the throne because that was God's kingdom. Therefore, dear brethren, God recognized the tribe of, you see, Judah. Now, if you see the kings of Judah, you see, it is actually a period of 513 years. You see, first Saul we saw, David we saw, Solomon saw, 40 years. Next, what happened? You see, rest of the kings, total 21 kings ruled. If total everything, it will come to a period of 513 years. So, let us see. Okay. After uh, Solomon, Rehoboam, his son came and ruled. He ruled for 17 years. Second Chronicles 12.13, brother. Uh, Emmanuel, brother, can you read? Second Chronicles 12.13. Second Chronicles 12.13. So, King Rehoboam strengthened himself in Jerusalem and reigned for Rehoboam was one and forty years old when he reigned to he, when he began to reign, and he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem, the city which the Lord had chosen out of all the tribes of Israel to put his name there. It's and seventeen his years he ruled. Next, Abijah, you see, his son ruled for three years. Second Chronicles thirteen two brother. Second Chronicles thirteen two. He reigned three years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Mecca okay. and the daughter of the way. See, here is given that he ruled for three years. Now next, after Abijah, Asa, Asa ruled for 41 years. Second Chronicles 16, chapter 13, verse for that. Second Chronicles 16, 13. And Asa slept with his fathers and died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. How much? Forty first year of his reign. Okay. Now next, uh, Josaphat he was one of the good uh, good king. He ruled for twenty five years. Uh, Second Chronicles twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen or thirty one. Uh, uh, 31st verse, brother. Second Chronicles 20th chapter, 31st verse. And Jehoshaphat reigned over Judah. He was 30 and 5 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 20 and 5 years in Jerusalem. Very good. And See, he began to reign for how many years, brother? 25 years. Now next, uh, Jehoram, he ruled for 8 years. Second Chronicles 21st chapter, verse 20. Second Chronicles 21, verse 20. 30 and 2 years old was he when he began to reign, and he reigned in Jerusalem 8 years and departed without being desired. How be it they buried him in the city of David, but not in the sepulchres of the king. Very good. See, he ruled for 8 years. Next, Ahazia, he ruled for 1 year. Second Chronicles 22-2. Second Chronicles 22 to 40 and 2 years old was Ahaziah, Ahaziah when he began to reign and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. Very good. He ruled one year. Next, Atalia. You see, she ruled for six years. Second Chronicles 22nd chapter 12th verse. Brother. And he was with them hid in the house of God six years and Atalia reigned over the land. Very good. Six years. Now, after this one, Jehoash, he ruled for 40 years. Second Chronicles 24.1. Jehoash was seven years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 40 years in Jerusalem. Very good. 40 years in Jerusalem. Next, uh, Amaziah, he ruled for 29 years. Second Chronicles 25.1. Amaziah was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned. 29 years in Jerusalem. 29 years. Next, uh, Uziah ruled for 52 years. He was also one of the good king. He restored the festival of Passover. Second Chronicles 
16 years old was Uzziah, Uzziah when he began to reign and he reigned 50 and 2 years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, uh, Jotham read for 16 years. Second Chronicles 27 1. Jotham was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, Ahaz, he also ruled for 16 years. Second Chronicles 28 1. Ahaz was 20 years old when he began to reign and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. Well, next Ezekiel, he ruled for 29 years. Second Chronicles 29 1. Ezekiel began to reign when he was 5 and 20 years old and he began and he reigned 9 and 20 years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, uh, Manasseh ruled for 55 years. Second Chronicles 33.1. Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 50 and 5 years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, Ammon ruled for 2 years. Second Chronicles 33.21. Ammon was 2 and 20 years old when he began to reign. And reigned 2 years in Jerusalem. Very good. Next, uh, Joisha reigned for uh, 31 years. Uh, you see, King uh, Joisha, uh, Second Chronicles 34 1. Joshua was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned in Jerusalem one and thirty years. Very good. Now, Jehoiakim, he ruled for 11 years, Second Chronicles 36 5. Jehoiakim was 20 and 5 years old. When he began to reign, and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. Very good. Now, Zedekiah, the last king of uh, Judah, he also ruled for 11 years. Second Chronicles 36 11. Zedekiah was 1 and 20 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. Very good. So, if you calculate everything, brother, you'll get a period of 513 years. Okay. So, please go through the notes also. I'll send it uh, easily. You can calculate and see it is 513 years exactly. So after this uh, period of kings, what happened was that, uh, you see, when Zedekiah was killed, in front of him, his two sons were killed. You see, he was blinded and he was taken to captivity also. Later on, he died. You see, so since then, the people of Israel were taken, uh, you see, captivity to Babylon. And the land of Israel was left desolate. And that uh, period of desolation was a period of 70 years. You see? That is the seventh division. Let us read Second Chronicles 36 chapter. Second Chronicles 36 chapter, verses uh, uh, 11, 12, and 13, and verse uh, 21. Hmm. Second Chronicles 36 chapter, verse 11. Zedekiah was one and 30, 20, one and 20 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. And he did that evil. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord his God. And humbled not himself before Jeremiah, the prophet speaking from the mouth of the Lord. And he also rebelled against the Nebuchadnezzar, who had made him swear by God. But he stiffened and hardened his heart from turning into the unto the Lord, God of Israel. Verse 20. Mm. And them that had escaped, escaped from the sword, sword carried he away to Babylon, where they were servants to him and his sons until the reign of kingdom of Persia. Continue. Until the reign of kingdom of Persia, they were in to, Babylon. Uh, to fulfill yeah. Okay, verse 21. To fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah until the land he enjoyed her Sabbath. For as long as she lay desolate, she kept Sabbath to fulfill three score and ten years. Uh -huh. You see, to fulfill the word of God, which God had already spoken through the mouth of Jeremiah the prophet, that the land shall enjoy her Sabbath to fulfill three score. 10 years. That means 70 years uh, land was desolate. Nobody lived in the land of Israel. <coughs> so after desolation, what happened? It says until the uh, uh, reign of uh, Persia. So first uh, Persian king was Cyrus. As soon as he enters Babylon, he realizes uh, that uh, in the wall many, many tekel was already written and Daniel gave interpretation and he was very happy 
that God gave him the victory and he let all the Israel people to go to the promised land and build their temple. So that happened in the first year of the reign of Cyrus. Read 2nd Chronicles, the 36th chapter, verse 22. Same, you can continue. Verse 22, 23. Yeah, verse 22. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord spoken by the mouth of Jeremiah might be accomplished, the Lord stood of the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and put it in writing, saying, hmm. Thus said Cyrus, king of the Persia, all the kingdoms hmm. of the earth had the Lord God of heaven given me, and he had charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, mm. which is in Judah, mm. who is there among you, all of his people. The Lord, his God be with him and let him go up. Mm. So this happened in the first year of the reign of Cyrus. Okay. Now, first year reign of Cyrus is in 536 AD. This is a very authenticated date. We saw BC can be trusted or calculated till when? 776 BC, the Olympic Games began then. So since then, the calculation can be trusted. So this is within that one, 536 AD. So if you see any biblical dictionary, you see the first year reign of Cyrus is given as 536 BC. That is the period of a end of a you see, a period of a desolation. You see, dear brethren. So, uh, the first year reign of Cyrus uh, was 536 AD, which actually means that till AD 1, it was 536 years. So, in this way, we calculated the entire chronology. So, we'll just do a revision for uh, understanding sake. You see, first sector from the creation of Adam till the flood, 1656 years. Second, from the flood till the covenant with Abraham, 427 years. From the covenant with Abraham till, you see, uh, the law, that is the law of the Passover, 430 years. From uh, the law of the Passover or the people leaving Egypt till they came to the promised land was 46 years. And after that, they got, uh, gave them the period of judges, 40 years. Then the period of kings, 513 years. Then the period of desolation which they were in Babylon, 70 years. And from a desolation till AD 1 is 536 years. If we total all these things, dear brethren, we get a period of 4,128 years till the first AD. From the creation of Adam till AD 1, it is, uh, how many years, sir? You see, 4,128 years, dear brethren. So this is how we calculate the Bible chronology. Okay? So, uh, I hope uh, you would have definitely understood, okay? Uh, and uh, I'll be sending the PDF notes uh, and uh, uh, you see a cleanly, a detailed, uh, a short uh, uh, computation sheet so that we can, you can also go through it uh, and uh, understand uh, these calculations very easily. So in spite of that one, if you have any doubts, any questions, you can definitely ask me. Uh, anybody has got any questions, any doubts regarding any of the classes? Anybody? Emmanuel, brother, any doubts, any questions? No, oh, brother. Okay, Peter, brother. Vishnu, brother. No, thank you. Vishnu, brother, any doubts, any questions?